The Holiday Inn West access to Interstate 40 enabled a residency for those whom traveled the highways of discovery, pitching a diversity of occupational endeavors. Their weekday nightly patronage of the Pirates Cove provided Jan and Gary not only a sense of accomplishment, but one of satisfaction. Another benefactor of the Meridian Avenue location was the Mike Monroney FAA Center, providing edification for an influx of air traffic controllers, students, and flight instructors from across the nation, the assemblage a contributor to the Pirates Cove's nightly patrons. Oklahoma City Attorney Leo Thompson, an elderly alumni of the University of Oklahoma College of Law was a fixture at the piano bar most weekday nights. It was obvious he was captivated with Jan, never failing to tip and request his perfunctory favor song, Till There Was You. Jan mentioning that on occasions Leo would insist on donning her with gifts, and from Leo's cordial and benevolent-like demeanor the pianist was confident that their relationship was patrimonial. Gary was somewhat puzzled about Ron, another piano bar regular, a slight bispeckled, self-proclaimed NASA engineer, whom the pianist had questionable doubts until Bob Henderson, the inn's front desk night clerk, approached the piano bar to inform Ron of a message. Gary able to overhear, someone called from the airport, the plane's ready for your return to Houston. The pianist life at the Cove becoming one of unanimity, working with Jan was like working with a family member, the two able to communicate because of their analogous propensity in their music. Gary never ceased to be amazed with Jan's photogenic lyrical memory, Glenn Campbell having just released a big hit gentle on my mind, the young lady able to recall the lyrics in one sitting, especially the tongue-tying last verse. I dip my cup of soup back from a gurgling crackling cauldron in some train yard. My beard a roughened coal pile and a dirty hat pulled low across my face. Through cupped hands round a tin can, I pretend to hold you to my breast and find that you're waving from the back roads, by the rivers of my memory ever smiling ever gentle on my mind. Apparently talent was an inherent quality, the Pirate's Cove being introduced to Jan's younger sister Joy, who would be filling in for a vacationing Jan. Joy like her sister demonstrated a quality stage presence, exhibiting her vocal talent with an acoustical guitar. The two sisters somewhat contradictory in physical stature, Jan very petite, Joy a statuesque blonde proclaiming a flavor of the hippie generation sporting a hate ashberry wardrobe. Gary confirming, although the two were about the same age, but there was a mindset generational gap, Joy mentioning she was having difficulties getting a payphone installed in her apartment. When asked why a payphone, she said, it was just a way of expressing myself. The two sisters, both graduates of Midwest City High School, diametric in personality, however they blossomed when vocalizing together, a perfect harmony. It was during an evening presentation break that Gary and Jan were approached by an emporotic person, inquiring about their exigency for sheet music and if they might be interested in what he had to offer. The pianist questioning his mitigation, the two accompanying the person outside to the parking lot, accordingly viewing the opening of the trunk of his car. Displayed were stacks of bound music manuscripts, better known in the music world as fake books. Gary having never seen such a wealth of music, each book containing over 1,000 songs with lyrics, chords, and a single note melody line. A gold mine of opportunity was thought to have been discovered until the price for each was acknowledged. The pianist exploring the mother load find, setting three large volumes, standards, show tunes and current hits aside, 
then because of the price having reconcile himself to obtaining a single volume. Jan who had briefly departed, re-emerged with club owner Herb Carpenter in tow, excitingly espousing to find the club owner without hesitation according the full cost of their selections. Gary discovering a camaraderie at the cove. Many of the local weekend customers were married couples, becoming regulars. Also on weekday nights making lasting acquaintances of sales and company reps whose base of operation is Oklahoma City, the Cove, a life experience in the making. I'm in a 